IQ Season 2, Episode 21. The match continues. This crazy mad dog attack, just knocking him out of the way. Poor turnip head. Speaking of statements being sent. That was lucky. Oh, so we won! Oh, we won! Hell yeah! Oh, but still, the statement. The statement. Is Ken Kindaichi okay? Just turn a pet, alright? Anyone check on him? Right, right. We care about safety over winning. Yeah, as I said last episode, I can't help but feel like it's a weakness. He's really good, but this is not Haobojosai's strength. It's not like being a powerhouse. We've learned from experience, especially this season, that singular focus on a powerful tool is easily beatable. Like that big guy, however tall he was. Oh. My prediction is Josai takes the second set. Creating rifts on the team now. Damn right. Probably not. That just seems too easy. I feel like it's going to take them one set to adjust the Mad Dog, but then they'll adjust, and that might be Alba Josai's undoing. Episode 21, The Destroyer. That could have multiple meanings. They're also overzealous. There's a very noticeable lack of bowing going on around here during serves. That's why they're losing. Telling it's because no one's cheering. Yeah, everyone's hitting it out of bounds. Managed to curse on his way down. Here it comes. Maybe? Maybe a fake out. Odd. How do you block that? What the heck? That's different. Yeah, I get the angles. It was very apparent on first watch. You can still block that though, no? Someone really tall. Gotta neutralize Mad Dog. He's a weapon, for sure. Damn it. Yeah, because he got bowled over last time. There it is. There we go. Oh no. What's the score? Don't show me the score. Coach smugness intensifies. Four to one, damn. So many errors in this game. That's not how you want points. Yeah, that's how that goes. Overfocused. Yep, real team team player this one. Orikawa using his weapons, his skill. So utilizing other people, Asahi. Oh no, oh no, oh no. No, he's not gonna, no, that's not his style. At least I got it. Something tells me that softness is not Mad Dog's style. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> Maybe you can taunt him. Use his anger against him. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's more like it. Tsuki. Someone. Tsuki's not on the court. Okay. Honestly, it feels weird to me that they're you that they're going with this approach. Shock factor aside, it doesn't really feel like this is a better team with Mad Dog. It almost feels like a lack of confidence in what they were before, which is odd. Right. Tell me more about his unbelievable abdominal and dorsal muscles. Oikawa doing what Oikawa does. Yeah, how's it serving? Excellent. Or not. There's that double-edged sword. Felt that impact. Rikawa's got a tool for this. Wow. Oh no. Oh no. I'm way ahead of you.
but right now it feels to me like Alba Jose is actually winning this game not on Mad Dog but on defense because they're making a ton of errors. It's just that Carson is not able to score consistently enough to take advantage of that. <laughs> Kick up the offense. Kick up the offense. There we go. Nice. Ouch. That was somewhat anticlimactic. Oh, and the taunting begins. The mind games begin. Keep your cool. Keep your cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep your cool. It's tough, but... <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Nana. That sucks. Oh? What's he got up his sleeve? These sound effects for Oikawa. Compliments himself. I love how he pumped himself up mid shot, and also I, I hate it. Stupid sexy Oikawa. Uh, the last thing we need right now is for Oikawa to start going on a roll with the serves. Yeah, I get it, Daichi. Tanaka, come on, Tanaka. Yes! Tanaka always ends up being so clutch. Taking Suki out. Nice. There you go. There we go. Sugiwara just has a way of like bringing new energy. Watch Sugiwara going to roll too. <laughs> bringing Mad Dog to his knees. Smart, smart, smart. So I'm talking about adapting. Five spikers. Who's it gonna be? Kageyama. Hell yeah. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> yeah, two setters on the court. Got it. Thank you for the volleyball exposition. But this is where Albert just like it's dangerous because even with Mad Dog, they're gonna figure this out too. This is gonna be a back and forth till the end. Figured it out. They're on it. Ex exactly. And they, there he is. There he is. I almost said a bad word. Okay, we got some points in. It's not that not that far off. Close game. Tanaka, man. <laughs> Love this guy. I managed to get that. Hell yeah, there's a tip. Damn it. Yeah, that's that's sort of what I'm getting at. I mean, it's working, but I wouldn't pass, put it past Oikawa to have a bigger plan here. Oh, Hinata's like, oh, I just wanted to get something so bad. Just all Mad Dog all the time. No, but you don't want that. You don't want that kind of third set pressure. You gotta play the second set as, as hard as you can. Thank you. Thank you, God, for that stroke of luck. Yeah, no, this is... This is my... Oh, did Nana read it? Oh, he, like, overread it. I thought for sure it wasn't going to Mad Dog. Oh, it's like a double fake. Damn, he's good. Stupid, sexy Oikawa. <laughs> that animation was so over the top. I love it. And also, I hate it. Well, we're only getting one edge right now. No, no, it's good. It, it, yeah. We gotta change the flow. You gotta neutralize 16. Yeah, that is pretty horrifying. He's getting better and better. They're playing the long game. Yeah, it feels like Josai's heating up. But Karasuno can win for sure if they just get their offense flowing to the same level. I think. That's my feeling watching the game. Their offense, from what we've seen, has been a little bit like, I don't know, by the numbers and stale. Part of that is a credit to Elba Josai's defense. <laughs> no, no, please don't do this. Please, please. I don't know if I can take a third heartbreak from this kid. Please don't. I mean, speaking of double-edged swords, him coming in and crushing it would be unbelievably cool. Him coming in and having another meltdown would just be a fatality. Tactically, I'm not sure what he what he adds that would neutralize Mad Dog or that would pump up the offense. Well, he's a blocker, right? Seems like the key to stopping Mad Dog is just 
stopping this brutal assault, neutralizing him. Though it also could be an offensive thing, because like just watching this, I don't know if this is intended or not. And this could, like I said, be a credit just to Alba Jose's defense. But a big part of what's going wrong, or what I feel is going wrong, it's not just that Mad Dog is powerful, because he had a lot of errors in this set. It's more that we're not really seeing Karasuno do much. Like Jose is able to return everything that they're hitting, and not as not really involved in the way he usually is. We're not getting these perfect looks, right? Jose just seems to be everywhere all at once. My biggest concern, like always, and I think like Ukai was alluding to is that this goes on long enough and I know better than to root against Karsuno in this way or to count them out in this way but there's just that pull you know the void that you fall in if you get stuck long enough where you start to think it's impossible you get frustrated you get fearful of the other teams you're not really playing you're just reacting and as soon as you're reacting that again is Alba Jose's game that's where they thrive their strength and it's no different now has always been figuring out what Karsuno is doing well and neutralizing it immediately so that they're back on the attacking end it's interesting because the match is not what I expected I expected kind of a rematch along similar grounds. But the more I watch, the more I realize it is that. It is that just with a new weapon. It's not Alba Josai relying on Mad Dog, which I think would have been fatal. It's them doing their same old thing, their same old calculating thing, just with an extra weapon. After seeing some parts of this episode, it doesn't even seem like Oikawa is that committed to always using Mad Dog. He's just using it while it works. It working will open up other opportunities should it stop working, if that makes sense. It's pretty great stuff. I'm interested to see if this goes to a third set. I mean, I, I think that Sensei was right. They were right to a certain extent that this momentum is crucial. And you, you don't want to leave it to the third set. Like, that's a temptation to think if you're up, you can kind of coast. But I think that it's when you're up that you should be most vigilant about dominating, you know, because you're attacking from a place of real strength. That's true in sports, but also just generally in life, you know, like if you're competitive, in, if you're in any kind of competitive space, it's when you're up that you want to put your boot on someone's neck, if that makes sense. Just speaking from a tactical perspective. Karasuno not exactly doing that here. They're, they are the ones that feel like they have boots on their neck right now. But I believe, I, I just can feel from the way these, these matches are going, they're going to have a victory.